G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews and today we're having a look at how to root your Galaxy S7 and put twerp on it. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now this is on the Exynos variant. You will need a USB cable, a PC, you will need to download Odin, Twerp, Noverity and Super SU. There'll be links down below for all of these and you'll get an understanding of what each one of them does as we go ahead. Now, first thing you need to do is go into your settings, about phone, about software info, tap on build number seven times until you get developer options enabled. Then you need to go back into developer options and tick OEM unlock. That is a must if you want to be able to flash, twerp and read your phone. Then we're going to power off our device. Now just bear in mind this is going to void your warranty. Uh, you will not be able to use Samsung Pay. Um, so definitely worth considering whether you want to do this or not. Now I don't have Samsung Pay available for me so I couldn't care less. I want to root the phone, play around with it. So you want to hold down your power, volume down and home button until you see this screen. Then you want to press volume up to continue. Now we're going to go on to our PC side of it double click on Odin again I've downloaded it uh, put the link below so you can download it there is Odin twerp and super SU and you also need the no verity download as well again all the links are down below now I've created a folder called the s7 folder that's where I'm going to put all these files that I need to be able to do this procedure um, so, and here is the link for the uh, Super SU No Verity. Now, No Verity is uh, basically it's a software feature that came comes with Marshmallow, and it's problematic. So we flash this, and it gets rid of it. It's problematic if you want to flash ROMs. Again, back into my folder. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. Copy everything that I've downloaded. Put it back in my S7 folder. Just like so. This is where I plug my USB cable from my PC into my device. Now my device is in downloading mode, as shown earlier, how to get to it. When you do this, you will see where the blue circle is. You will see that it will light up blue, just like so. And then we click on AP, just like so. We're going to click on that. And from there, we're going to go into my S7 folder, and I'm going to click on twerp and press start and this is going to flash your recovery or twerp onto your device so let's have a crack at it and you see it's flashing recovery done now as soon as this passes you want to hold down volume up power and the home key and it will reboot straight into twerp like this you want to swipe right to allow modifications you want to go wipe and you type yes and hit enter now let it do its thing don't uh, press any buttons just wait until that's done then we click back back again now we go to reboot and we just want to reboot back into recovery. And that'll take us straight back into twerp, right where we've been already. Just like so. And again, swipe to allow modifications. Then we get to our next stage. And we're going to flash our DM Verity. I'm just going to copy that and paste it onto my device. 
just going to paste it next to the twerp folder. You'll just notice I go back there and I'm going to copy and paste the no verity and the super su. So they're the only things on my device at this point in time. Go to install. So the first thing I'm going to install is the no verity. So just swipe, tap on install it, then just swipe to install. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to install the super su. Again, just tap on it, then swipe to your right and it will do its thing. Just let it do its thing. You'll see it just go through the process. Don't press any buttons, don't reboot your phone, don't turn anything off, just let it do its thing. You'll see all the jargon rolling through your screen. That's exactly what it's meant to be doing. And done. So I'll just go reboot device. I didn't want to skip ahead too much because I wanted you to see that the process works and this is the steps you follow and everything will work perfectly and this is what you'll see. You'll get to this stage and this will happen. You get to the next stage and you'll see what will happen there. So that's why I didn't just skip it right ahead. Installing applications and then we get straight into our setup. So there you go. Device setup. Welcome. And I'll just skip ahead. Root checker. Android 6.0, install, open, so this doesn't install root, this just verifies that I now have root on my device, there we go, super SU, hit like if this helped, comment, share, all that sort of stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one, check ya.